And I'd just like to um, echo the same um, enjoyment of being here um, for this announcement, and I'm thrilled to be here for this launch of the Canada Rising Stars program. Um, I'm also very proud to join the ranks of Canada's small but energetic and incredibly talented group of scientists who've spent their careers focused on global health. Growing up in Winnipeg, I remember hearing several interviews with the local infectious disease expert, more than just local, but Frank Plummer, on the local radio station. And he'd recount um, the recent breakthroughs in HIV research that was, were being made by the team at the University of Manitoba. As I listened en route to my classes in the morning at UW, it struck me that the relevance of these findings that were being made by these Canadian researchers in collaboration with scientists in Nairobi stretched far beyond the perimeter of Winnipeg, far beyond the borders of Canada. These Canadians were laying the foundation for treatment and prevention of a disease that was decimating the health, health of Sub-Saharan Africa. This is, one of the, this is one of several possible examples that demonstrate the leadership role Canada plays in global health research, as Peter mentioned several others that are more local, and I'm sure any one of you in the room can name one or two others that haven't been mentioned yet. This is the foundation that young scientists such as myself can build upon. My own draw to the challenge of global health research was strengthened with several trips to Africa during and after my graduate studies, which was actually focused very much on basic research of um, autoimmune diseases like lupus. The beautiful landscapes and vibrant cultures of the seven sub-Saharan Africa, African countries through which I traveled captivated me completely. But against the backdrop of the natural and cultural beauty that I experienced, the, the images that are in sharper focus now are of the young woman working the fields or trekking to and from the market to ensure that her large family will eat, or of the, the child at an AIDS orphanage who may also be HIV positive themselves or of the under-resourced health clinic that could provide little more than a potential diagnosis and potentially some multivitamins. In the face of these sites, I realized that I wanted the application of my research skills and my knowledge of immunology and genetics to amount to more than just publications. I saw the potential for my work to make a real impact while tackling truly intellectually challenging health issues present because of poverty. And energy comes from this potential to make a difference. It's what focuses and holds the attention of people at early stages of their career. The results of this focus are dotted throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. I seized every opportunity to meet with locals who embodied the energy and who were working to improve the health of their communities. One such person was Agri Amondi, the founder of a community resource center based in Ugunja in Western Kenya. I met him in a cafe in Nairobi the day before making the nine hour bus ride to Ugunja on the pothole ridden highway towards Uganda. A tireless man who's passionate about his community, Agri has seen the Agunja um, Community Resource Center grow from a small support network for local farmers to a multi multifaceted resource for health promotion and poverty re reduction, complete with a health clinic, um, HIV screening um, clinic, three schools, and a microfinance system. He expressed his strong belief that the center would not have grown as effectively as it had without the collaboration of both local and foreign efforts. I think this also applies to implementing solutions in global health challenges. The opportunity that this new Grand Challenges Canada provides for Canadian scientists and developing world scientists to work in partnership to find innovative solutions is optimal for bringing lasting change to health conditions in developing countries. And I know I personally look forward to rising to the challenge and doing just that. <laughs>